Hello guys, my name is Russian Badger, and the M5K, I can't stand sometimes, but certain games, it is just too wonderful. Most of the time, I get really frustrated because without extended mags, it's just a piece of garbage. Now check this out. You take your nade, right? You take your nade and Kobe, and you throw it over top, you distract the guy by shooting at him, and don't. That's exactly the way that classic misdirection works, and it's a very efficient tool for... I would say clusters of enemies sometimes, but it, it's a lot better, it's a lot more effective on an individual or a single target. And you'll notice, even at range, if you get headshots, you can easily pick people off. But, at close range, it kills so quickly, and that spread is so tight, just... It's so simple. It's so simple. And you will see oftentimes that, and, uh, okay, I tried to move around that door, because that was like my reference point to get into the crate. I was like, oh lord, and then I didn't know what to do after that. I spray a bunch of bullets at somebody that's not there, and it goes revive train from here, which works really, really well. And, okay, so I don't quite finish him off, but I said, Willie Lee, your name is not Jack Brown. Okay, so that worked out somehow. I don't think that that was exactly what I was planning to do, but that somehow worked with the 44. It's... You can tell when I'm spamming. I think a lot of you know me well enough, and you know sort of the the format of my gameplay to the point where, yeah, I can tell he aimed that shot, or that was luck. That's pure luck. He was firing out of his mouth. Why was he even... No, you can definitely tell that most of the time. Actually, maybe you guys think that all the time. Just Badger just fires from the hip at all times. He doesn't even... Do you even aim, Badger? Do you even aim? And it took me a while to was like, where is that guy? Where is he? But I'd like to say that overall, the M5K does not necessarily need to... It doesn't need to be aimed down sight. I can show you later on a specific example of... I want to say it's between... 15 to 20 meters away, and I can easily pick off one or two people with a magazine firing from the hip. Granted, that does include the laser sight, and I don't know what this catfish was doing. Like, he's got his bipod pointed towards the sky. I know that's a glitch the dice still hasn't fixed. You know they're on a bipod on a rock, and it looks like they're looking into outer space to get their... The bullets somehow fly out, not straight out of the barrel. I don't get exactly how that works. Like, I don't, I don't get how your barrel is sticking towards the sky and you can shoot people right in front of you. That, I don't get the physics there. Maybe that's just like Swedish physics. Maybe or sweetest fish, sweetest physics, whatever. I, that's hard to say really quickly. And I didn't understand. I didn't understand why so many of my teammates didn't join me in the Humvee because this thing can turn into a rape train very quickly and. The right side of Down Vaughn Peak, you win some, you lose some. Like, if someone sees you or if you're spotted, you're essentially compromised and there's nothing you can do about it because you're so exposed, there's little to no cover. And there came a point at this rock where it was either run to the left of the rock and get shot in the face by a guy that's right there, or tr try to sprint as fast as you can to the right of the rock and get in bounds, and I didn't quite get in bounds. And this is another example where I think, this is almost like a wish list for Battlefield 3. Take the best weapons, and this guy just happened to be lying down, and I, I missed the second shot, but not the third. One thing that I have to say, I, maybe I should make an entire video just dedicated to what I think that Battlefield 3 should be, or some... Compared to previous battlefields, what I think they should improve, and I think the number one on that list would be separating the godlike weapons from the ability to heal oneself and the ability to revive other people and bring them back to life. I th that seems like a fundamentally overpowered issue. It's just, okay, so you're making it a class that can bring back teammates by literally left-clicking and at a very, very high rate. Like, it's not like you're... Defib or your paddle has a low rate of fire. You can just spam that all day So it doesn't take you very long to revive four or five people easily bring them back to life You can also heal yourself. So every single engagement that you enter into you are full health and To top that off you get all the godlike weapons Give me your sandwich dog and this guy. I don't know why he just ran away from me. Was he scared or something? Just Maybe he thought that I was his teammate and I was knifing an enemy of his but I think that guy just brain farted really hard and he comes back to the revive doesn't even bother to fire at me just how do you think that guy died man it's pretty obvious that i stuck a knife into his chest like i don't, I don't, I don't get it but here this is where i'm talking about okay so i ended up getting one guy but if you keep your spread of the m5k most of these are going to be headshots because you'll notice that not only is only their head exposed because of the little wood plank there but it's also the most efficient way to kill 
if you constantly, and I don't know what the MLG Pro Crouch Walker is coming around, but that guy also goes down. And I somehow got hit through the window by the Z11. That guy was just lurking in that all day. Chopper Monster number 2012. But the one thing that I wanted to say is that if you're going to like fire from the hip all the time, especially with the M5K, if you fire from the hip and you aim for your cluster around their face, it works a lot better. And I died to a Claymore, but if you look at the top right hand of your screen, if you look at the kill feed, he killed himself as well with that Claymore. So that's Claymore justice, if you will. I don't know if you guys ever remember that. Remember, I used to watch a Call of Duty guy. What was his name? It, I think it was... Sandy Sandy Ravage, he used to have this series called Camper Justice. He would just, I don't know. It was like a spas on a UMP. He would just destroy everything in sight. It was very silly, but that's for somehow reminded me of that. And at this point in time, I end up taking one more guy down with the 44, but it's just, oh, God. I just need, give us some time to reload. God damn. And it's, I just never have the time. Finally, I get revived, but this is exactly what I'm talking about right here. All of my teammates, well, or squad mates that is, most of the time they're going to win the objective or they're going to win the gunfight between them and anyone else around the objective because they have the godlike guns and they can heal themselves to win future engagements and they can also revive people so they, may, they can have additional teammates in the fight with them. That's If that's not fundamentally overpowered in terms of balancing of classes, I don't know what is. That's just silly to me. But... You can see, yet again, I don't really need to aim down sight very often. If you keep your cluster, you keep your your crosshairs around the guy's face, it works a lot better. Now granted, like in that situation, I didn't get either one of them in the face, but if you keep it around their head, usually your first shot will get a headshot, or one of them will get a headshot. So even though you see a lot of those are in the kill feed, they're not headshots, sometimes the first bullet, which obviously does twice as much damage, kills most of the guy, and then it just finishes them off. It, it's so deadly, even in close quarters, too. I'd say anything beyond 25 to 30 meters you're looking at, please no. And that's some more physics by DICE. I don't know how that... I don't know how those 2x4s are floating midair. I don't know exactly how that works. And since I'm so out of ammo, and that guy that you saw in the first double stack building never ever gives it out, I'm going to have to find something to use on my own. And... Uh, first one, second one right in your face. And it just so happens that... I'm terrible with sniper rifles. My accuracy in general is always off. I'm always playing different games, so it's usually not all that accurate. And you'll see coming up against the chopper, it's even worse. It's just so terrible. It's like, why would you even try to shoot at that thing if your aim or your ability to acquire and eliminate targets is that bad? It gets a little bit worse on the next base where I... I think it's a definite detriment to your team if you're using something that cannot be efficiently used to assault an objective like if you have a good weapon that's really good for lurking on a rooftop and this is it right here it's just so off he's floating up and down i that's so bad that's me with a sniper rifle is not a good time and i got a little bit of a streak going on the top of the roof but yet again i think something that i want you to notice is that especially on Donovan peak on this next base i don't want to just come out and say wow a is complete horse but it is terrible like, the ability for the enemy to lurk in that many different positions while lurking or looking directly down at an objective, it's kind of silly, if you ask me at least. And yes, I've been in the chopper because I couldn't really find anybody. And so I was getting locked onto by somebody. I'm not sure if that was an igler or not. But sometimes I just think to myself, like, who uses an igla on this map? Like, why? What is the ability for you to take down... It's such an, uh, a very, very rare threat of a helicopter is that bad, where you need to use an igla. And you'll notice that, yeah, I get a few headshots, but I just was so surprised that this many people were standing still. I guess I don't realize it most of the time when I'm using assault rifles and so forth, but look at how many people are straight up just standing still, waiting to get shot in the face. It's so... It's, it didn't really strike me as something that I noticed very often. I guess when I use... Like an AK, M416, anything else, I just... And the, the 44 is so good at range. I'm so... I, I don't get. I don't get how I can be this... Like, I can somehow take people down with a secondary from that range. I'm just surprised that my accuracy is that passable. It's... I don't know. It's just very shocking to me that I'm... I, my accuracy is so bad because I've been playing so many different games. It's very silly. But here's what I'm doing wrong. Granted, I'm not dying. You know, like, I'm not... I'm not necessarily hurting my team, but if you look at it right now, 
I'm not assaulting the objective that I should be at A, and A is one of those objectives that you have to throw people at all day for it to actually go down on Domovon Peak. Because, without sounding really awful about it, it's pretty difficult to take down. Now, let me think about this. Okay, so you've got the back right side hangar, you got everybody on the roof, you've got all the guys in that little building to my... just down below to the left. There's so many places where you can hide and have tremendous... What are you doing, man? It's another guy standing still. I don't get it. But look, there's so many different places where you can easily just lurk on the objective. I also just call it squatting, where you're not doing anything else. You're not trying to make some sort of assaulting maneuver against the team that is attacking you as the defenders. You're just kind of sitting there, waiting for somebody to come to A and arm it, and... You see, yet again, I'm still picking people off, but it's not doing my team a whole lot of good because I can't, I can't jump down guns blazing and kill everybody in a room with an M98B. It doesn't work that way, especially with my rate of fire. It's just not something that's all that efficient. And I finally get taken down. The, I don't know if that's the same guy in the Z11. But that Z11 killed me more often than it usually does. And so I decided, why not come down and get the guy that shot me originally? So. Kobe, I throw down the grenade and it was really frustrating because like you can't turn, you can't turn your left as soon as you start coming down. It's very like no, I can turn very quickly, but I still got him because he's I wouldn't call him very sharp, if you will. And at this point in time, you can easily tell that 34 tickets. I don't know if I have a rough scale of okay, you should be panicked right now because the game is about to turn in the other team's favor. But I guess I would say most people start panicking around 20 tickets and I just got taken down by a lot of them. It seemed like a lot of them were support to start out with and a lot of engineers and then they turned out to, oh look, the assault class has godlike weapons. You can revive all your defending teammates around a crate and you can heal yourself. Awesome. Let's do that. So it's essentially we stacked medics in the beginning and that was able to overwhelm their forces of support and engineer. And then after they all switched to assault to try to match us, they just crushed us. It was silly. You see a few recons here and there, but you can easily tell most of the time the dominating players from the defending team are going to be the assault class. Try to get them around the corner, but I'm not quite there. And at 12 tickets left, I figured, why not just go? I am literally going to run directly at A and see if I... I mean, so many attempts that just didn't work. All right, so I'm balling like LeBron James right now as I toss this nade down. And I end up getting the guy, but it's... All for not, just because, yeah, sure, okay, I got him, but it doesn't matter because there's so many guys lurking in so many corners, so many little hiding rooms, so many hangers, so many catwalks. You can't get A unless your team is stacked with medics and they know exactly what they're doing. So me lurking on the roof for way too long with the M98B was definitely a bad idea. I guess we armed it somehow, but that really didn't justify, it didn't justify our efforts, I don't think. And as the, I don't know if you could see that, but there was a glitch in this game where I, I couldn't see my mouse on the screen. So I was going to squad hop and try to get as close to the objective and defend it like I usually do, especially in Bad Company 2. It's, well, in Battlefield 3 as well, but my mouse did not show up. Like I couldn't see where my pointer was, so I couldn't even get up to squad to try to chain squads. Not that that would have, really would have made a difference, but it was just kind of frustrating that... Every time I had to deploy, I couldn't pick anybody, I just had to press enter, and I just had to deal with it. So, I don't think that had a really profound impact, but whatever. I guess our, our, our efforts were not bad, and I had a decent game, but it's just, that A is so frustrating. The other team has to be pretty downy for you to get that objective without any kind of flack against you. It's, it's pretty difficult, you ask me. But, I will see you guys next time. Auf Wiedersehen und bis bald und later.